Good morning everyone, and on today's episode of BTL's Garage, we're working again on the Mark II, um, but today's Mark II DIY is to remove the rear beam, and probably the full exhaust system as well. Alright, so, as always, this is BTL's Garage, and we're going to break, fix, and repair. much to do it um, it's the same on both sides so there's a couple things you guys can can go around it it depends on how you guys are gonna deal with it for me I'm preserving the rear brake lines so I'm not gonna delete uh, destroy them or break them off so right down here there's a little clip you pop that off break loose the nut and pull the line off uh, do the same thing on both sides that way your brake line won't be damaged on the way out. Uh, since they also use rubber hoses, and you'll see here there's a rubber hose right here. You're going to need to replace those too. Um, I already got replacements for this car, so that's a very, very important uh, step in this process of Pulling this beam out and then rebuilding everything. Um, we're also doing new bushings here. So this beam has to come out before we do anything else. Uh, once the beam is out, we're probably going to yank out this super old exhaust system. This is awesome weld job here. <laughs> Look at that, it's so bad. So yeah, we're going to yank this all out. Um... Once it's all yanked out, we're also going to give the car a good cleaning underneath, see if there's any rust. If we see any rust down below, we're going to have to sand it down, paint it, and primer and paint it to prevent it from rusting anymore. Uh, we have a little bit of surface, surface rust on this beam, so a good sanding and grinding will be done, and a good uh, paint job will be set to this as well. Um, the handbrake here. Just take off the little clips. Try not to break them so you can reuse them. So your handbrake stays in place again. Uh, it's the same on both sides. So I think the only difference is the brake line on the other side is slightly different. But we'll film that for you guys. So let's get to work. So for the brake line, you'll notice I pried this open a little bit. Got the uh, handbrake removed. Um, I soaked the brake line in WD-40 so I can get it. I gotta go pick up a tool. I need a, an 11 millimeter flare wrench uh, or fuel line wrench. Uh, that's what you use to break these loose since uh, all my other wrenches don't fit. Uh, so I'm gonna go get that. Once that's done, we'll be able to break this one, uh, take this one off, take the other side one, the other one on the other side off. Uh, we're gonna clean underneath here and then we'll be able to pull, pull the, um, the beam out. Uh, you just need these three bolts, one, two, and three, to pull the whole beam off. Uh, do the same thing on both sides, the whole beam drops. And we'll show you that in the, in, in the, during the process, but just want to give you the heads up on how that looks. Alright, All right, so what we had to do is cut the line. You see right there, the line is cut. Um, once you cut that line, there's two 13 millimeter bolts. I'll show you guys in just a second. Uh, right here. So this block with the the brake lines. There's two 13 millimeter bolts right here. One and two. Take those off, and then uh, it'll pretty much free up this this spring right here. Pull that spring out and just leave it alone. Uh, this will pretty much free up the whole arm right here for the 
beam to come off. On the other side, just cut the line as well since we're replacing the brake lines. It's not a big deal. Um, that's what we did on both sides. Only this side has this uh, set up here, so once you unbolt that, cut the line, you can take off the three 17 millimeter bolts right here. One, two, and three. Uh, they're the same on both sides. Break those off. Break them loose first and then uh, take them off. So, depending on if you have a buddy or not, I have a buddy today. My wife. Hey, buddy. Um, what you're going to need to do is get a jack, jack it up. We start removing the three bolts. Break them first loose and then put the jack on here and then remove the bolts. Once you do that, leave the jack on this side and then do the other side. And the reason for this because the um, the beam itself will sag and cause it to bend on the other side. So you don't want to do that. We almost did that, but I left one bolt in so just to be safe. So make sure jack it up. Take three bolts off. Leave the jack here. Go on the other side. Unbolt it. Leave one bolt. And then if you have a buddy with you, have the buddy lower the bolt slowly. I mean the the beam slowly while you take off the last bolt so everything goes down together so nothing gets dropped and bent all right all right so now we are down to the last bolt my wife is going to be holding the rear beam up as best she can while I try to hold it here one bolt left like I said just be careful and then hold the beam up I don't think it's that heavy. Is that heavy? Okay, hold it up. Here, I'll hold this up here. And drop it. Drop it with the jack. Oh, it is heavy. <laughs> oh, stop! 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 Ah, oh, shit. Uh, jack it back up. Jack it back up. Stop! 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 Uh, it's bending the line. Oh. Hold on. Oh man, there's a line. That's not good. What? Uh, oh, where did you get it from? The line? Yeah. That right one. there. Yeah, it's bent. It's broke. Yeah. That's it? that's it's bad. All right. Well, let me figure it out. All right. So we got that brake line removed. Hopefully it wasn't damaged, so we'll see later. We get to that point. Uh, Carlene, can you move the wheel? The back one? Yeah. The one in the back? Yeah. Oh my god. So now the beam is completely removed. Pull it up. We're going to pull this sucker out. It's a little heavy, so be careful. Taking it up. Now you can see the complete rear beam assembly removed. So to get this all repurposed, this all has to be cleaned up, sanded down, repainted, and new bushings on the rear as well, which we all have um, already for it. We're going to have to remove the, the brake line here and there and put in the new brake hoses. So hopefully that goes in pretty well and not damaging anything else. Um, Trying to see if there's anything else we can show you. There's a separate brake line. Figure that one out. But that's it guys. That's how we remove a rear beam on a Mark II.
later next DIY we'll show you guys how to remove the 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 bushings and install new ones and it, once it's reinstalled we're gonna put in new hubs uh, new bearings new rotors new brakes everything's gonna be new so thanks again for watching Pinchiao's Garage with Carly all right peace out Dimension, another time and space A parallel universe is falling on its face When out of the chaos, who else could it be? But the animal adventurer, so S P A C E. Bucky! Captain Bucky O'Hare Mutants and aliens and toads beware You're looking for adventure, well this is it With Jenny, Dead Eye, Blinky and Willie to win I said Bucky! Captain Bucky O'Hare I'm now on the Bucky O'Hare on the Toad Wars In the battle of the animal